Streets. Lisette, what is our forecast looking like? Oh, you know the heat is on. And let's go heat. We're rooting for our team, right? Hopefully they'll win. And yeah, you definitely need the air conditioning and lots of water today as we are dealing with a very steamy day as we look live from our CBS4 camera in Doral. Blue skies and looking gorgeous from our Key West camera as well. And real-time Doppler radar is showing that there are only a few isolated showers. And most of the showers have been over in the western areas around Sweetwater, Kendale Lake, and also we've had a little bit of rain near Country Walk and Cutler Bay earlier. So there's still the chance for a few showers today, but the rain chance is low. The wind has increased a little since this morning, currently a 9 to 12 miles an hour out of the south. That southerly wind always pumping in the humidity and that moisture from the Caribbean. So yeah, temperatures 90 degrees in Fort Lauderdale and Weston, upper 80s in Miami and Homestead, upper 80s down through the Keys. When you factor in the high humidity, though, it feels like the hundreds in Fort Lauderdale and Homestead and through the Keys. It feels like 99 in Oakland Park. It feels like 97 in Miami. So certainly very muggy out there. Sally is now post-tropical depression and still dumping tons of rain across parts of the Southeast United States, across Georgia, the Carolinas, and even parts of Florida dealing with some lingering rain due to the moisture tail. It is moving to the Northeast at 21 miles an hour. We'll continue to bring moisture and wet weather to parts of the Carolinas as it moves to the Northeast and weekends. In terms of the rest of the tropics well i mentioned earlier that we have a lot going on so we do have a disturbance in the southwestern gulf of mexico with a high potential of becoming our next depression a category three hurricane teddy likely headed towards or near bermuda tropical depression vicky and a disturbance that is southwest of the cape verde islands with the median potential of development right now many models are steering generally to the west west northwest still too soon to say certainly we'll be watching it here over the next few days but today hot and sticky 90 degrees feeling like the hundreds, a few showers possible. And also we are dealing with the higher than normal king tide. So the next high tide will take place at 9.05 p.m. in Miami Beach and for Fort Lauderdale at 9.47 p.m. So minor coastal flooding will be possible around those high tide times. For you boaters, no advisory. Seas 2 will light chop on the bays tonight. We'll be warm with the upper 70s. And we are going to see a little bit of drier for tomorrow. But then as we head into the weekend, some moisture is going to move in associated with an early seasoning week weakening cold front. So heating up tomorrow 94, Saturday 92 and scattered showers, more storms Sunday and the front may lower our humidity and lower our temperatures a little bit by early next week. At least we're hoping for that, Francis.